Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Today we will learn on chapter 6, Net Premium Reserve. So what is net premium? All mortality table shows a rate of mortality. Except at very low ages, is increasing from age to age. If the amount of insurance provided by a given policy is the same year after year, the current cost of the insurance benefit or we call as natural premium and the notation is CX will increase from policy year to policy year. At the older ages, the cost of insurance exceeds the net level premium. So the net level premium is same throughout the years but the cost is increasing from year one until the end so how we want to cover the excess hence the insurance company must accumulate a fund from the excess of the net level premium to remain solvent the accumulation of this excess is called as reserve. So the net premium reserve is expected value of prospective loss. And the notation is TL. So the expected value of prospective loss is denote as TV. Or KV for discrete case and TV for continuous case. And the policyholder pays the premium starting at age X, the current age. And let's say death happened between X plus K minus 1 and X plus K. The expected value of prospective loss will happen at this time. The prospective loss at time T is the present value of future benefits at time T minus present value of premium at time T. Then we get the expected prospective loss is equal to the TV AX. This is for whole life or we call as ordinary policy. So this is the notation for this case. And it consists of whole life insurance, whole life premium and whole life annuity. So this is the general form for the reserve. And this is for end year endowment insurance. So this is the notation and it includes same item as the whole life case but insurance for endowment and the premium also for the endowment case and the annuity is temporary annuity for n years okay this is three types of formula for whole life case so it also can apply to endowment case we just change the insurance the premium and the annuity in terms of endowment case and first one, prospective formula. So this is the general equation for the reserve. And we also can write down in terms of premium for premium difference formula. So we just rearrange the equation. For the formula in terms of the premium, we use NWT. And this is for paid up insurance formula. So we use in terms of insurance so the big a so we also have retrospective formula so this is prospective formula and we rearrange the equation and we get this is the retrospective formula so tex is pure endowment so pure endowment is vn NPX for continuous case and for the discrete case is DX plus N over DX. So we have to refer to the table. And we also have special formulas for both whole life and endowment. 
So the first one, whole life in term of annuity. Second one, the endowment in term of annuity. And the third one, whole life in term of insurance. And the last one, endowment in term of insurance. So all these formula are rearranged from this formula. So this is the alternative formula that we can use other than prospective formula and retrospective formula for both cases. Example 1. So we have to find the prospectively and retro retrospectively assuming the Morse law with omega equal to 100 and delta equal to 0 0.1. So this is continuous reserve. So for prospective formula, this is the general equation. The first one is for the whole life and this is for endowment. So this case is for endowment. So we use endowment formula. And we plug in the values inside the formula and then we solve it so first we find the endowment insurance so we, we have this is for death benefit tpx mu x plus t and this is for survivor benefit so vn and px and then we solve the integration and we get 0 0.4056 then we have to find the premium p2020 so p2020 is also can be written as this form premium is the insurance divided with the annuity so if this is for endowment case, so the insurance must be endowment and the annuity must be annual temporary annuity. So if the premium is for whole life, so we have to use whole life insurance and whole life annuity. Then we find the insurance A2020. For the endowment case, so we have two types of the benefit. And then we solve the integration and we got 0 0.2096. Then we have to find the annuity. So the annuity we can use in terms of the insurance from this formula. So we just substitute the insurance in this equation and we got 7.904 and then we can find the premium then lastly we have to find the temporary annuity so we also can use this formula and first we have to find the insurance for A3010 this is for endowment and then we solve the integration and we got 0 0.4056 then we can find the annuity using the insurance so we have 5.944 then we can substitute all the values in the equation for the reserve then we get 0 0.248 alternatively we also can use the special formula given so we can try this formula and we get the same value as the prospective formula. So you can try the retrospective formula by yourself. Then we go to prospective reserve for discrete. So for discrete, this is the notation TVX without the bar. So the first one is for the ordinary or we call as whole life insurance. So same as 
continuous case this is the basic equation so this is for whole life insurance for discrete case this is for whole life uh, premium for discrete case and this is for annuity due why we use annuity due because the premium is paid starting from age x and the first one is for whole life case the px is equal to the whole life insurance divided by the whole life annuity due and then the second one is npx where n payment for whole life insurance so the annuity will follow the number of payment for the case of t greater than n so the reserve become ax plus t only and then this is for n year endowment policy so this is how we find the premium so the premium would be the endowment insurance divided by temporary annuity due and the last one is m payment n year endowment policy so if you notice that the numerator still use the n year endowment but the denominator is follow the number of payments so m payment example 2 compute the numerical values for the fifth terminal reserve by the prospective method for the following 1000 policies issued at age 25 so x is 25 so this is 1000 policies and the t is 5 so the first one ordinary or we call as whole life insurance so this is the information that we have this is the prospective formula for reserve so ax plus t minus px times the annuity due since it is whole life insurance so all this is for whole life so the px we can find from this one so when we convert in terms of commutation function it becomes mx over nx And we substitute the values inside the equation and we solve the equation using the commutation function and we refer to the table to get the values and we get 51 ringgit 40 cent. So in the table we can refer all these values straight away and we got the same value 51 ringgit 40 cent second one 20 payment life so m is equal to 20 so this is the equation for m payment whole life insurance so still the insurance is for whole life the premium is for whole life but for m payment and the annuity due must follow the number of payment so we use this one and when we convert in terms of commutation function we get mx over nx minus nx plus m then we substitute the values inside the equation we solve for this equation and we substitute in terms of commutation function and we refer to the table and we get 91 ringgit 53 cent the last one 20 year endowment so this is the formula for this case 
It substitute the values and this is premium for endowment. We have to use endowment insurance divided by temporary annuity. So if there is no M here, so the annuity will follow the N years. So that's why N is equal to 20 as well. So for the endowment insurance, we have two types of benefit. For death benefit is M25 minus M45. So for the survive benefit is D45. And then we divide with the temporary annuity. And we cancel out the D25 and we got this formula. So we substitute all the computation function with the value that we referred from the table. And we got 195 ringgit 90 cent. So let's say 10 payment for 20 year endowment. So M is equal to 10. N is equal to 20. So we have to use this formula. So if there is M. So the annuity part we have to use M. So the insurance still use N. N yes. And if you notice that the premium always follow the reserve X and N. Only the insurance part and the annuity part we have to plus with T for the H and we have to minus T for the N. Then we substitute the values inside. We conclude that if no M, so annuity follows N year. If there is M, so annuity follows M payment. And for insurance, it always follow and yes for both cases.